and welcome back to another LS vlog. We've got the LS up on jack stands. I just spent the last like 15 minutes uh, uncovering it and cleaning it out, getting some stuff out the way as you guys can already see. But there's a couple things that I do want to get done. I do want to start cutting out uh, the entire rear back seat area. I think it's going to make it a lot easier to get to a lot of the tubs and cut those out, especially because I don't have a plasma cutter. I also do want to start taking apart the inside basically where all the trim and stuff is over the trans tunnel because I know I'm gonna have to end up raising all of that and then we also have to start cutting up the front even more so I think we're gonna start on the rear that's a couple things that we might be able to get to today or save it for another video but you guys saw in the last video I cleaned out most of this area and stuff I just put pretty much everything kind of to the side moved the gas tank you know forward kind of out the way so that there's no sparks or no issues nothing really flammable in here so when we are cutting there should not be any issues but i do want to open almost all of this up we will end up dropping the subframe because a lot of this area is also going to have to be cut out on both sides for the upper control arm as well as the wheel to fit up and well we're kind of just doing a guessing game so i've got some pictures and people i've talked to as references but um then again i kind of want to do my own style just go for it most of the cars already cut up anyways and at this point we're just going to cut and redo everything so let's get into it we'll start getting cutting and we'll see where today takes us And fast forward about half an hour or so, you guys kind of saw me start to take apart uh, the center console area. It was pretty tricky and it is held in by tabs kind of up by the glove box and then under the, I guess, steering wheel dash kind of area where my finger's at. I ended up just yanking it out. Couldn't figure it out, was getting issues, but as you can uh, kind of see, there's little tabs like right there and right there. They got yanked. It is what it is. I'm sure I can make it all together and stuff, but for those who are interested, there's a couple like screws and stuff. It's really not hard to get all of this out. The wood piece that goes right in the middle, all it is is put a tiny little screwdriver and slowly make it all the way up on the sides just pop straight out and then of course the hard part that i showed you guys but that is out and i'll be able to mess with all of the cutting and stuff in the middle currently there's nothing holding from side to side so i'm not going to cut all that up yet but i did get the harness from the trunk all of this stuff basically ran through that tiny little hole it connected to the gas tank, it connected to whatever this module is that's usually up there. Connected to all the stuff up here, but I took all the clips off. Was able to run it through, had no issues. I ended up cutting off uh, this, which is just an extra trailer thing. There was a trailer hitch on this at one point. Not sure if it was ever used, but I ended up taking it off and selling it. So. I left these if I ever need a cut and splice, or if I really end up ever having a hitch, it will probably just be for jokes and not actually using it. But stepping inside the Swiss cheese car, this is all taken out. These are the AC things, vents that uh, just ran right there, just pop straight out. And then this piece is the sub cover. It is held in by a couple clips on the bottom. So I had to go underneath here, squeeze those, pop those up took off all of the little pieces that hold in the seat belts, which are these. And most of that popped off. Just so you know, this third brake light does have to slip off before you take all of that out. All I did was basically lift up on the back, slip it off, and then took the clips off of that. So pretty easy, but it is hot in here. So it is now time to figure out what else to cut. The whole plan is to remake all of these strut tower. As you can see, I already took off the three bolts and let this side drop. I am gonna do it on this side, but kinda wanted to keep all of this together just for reference, since I am just doing one side at a time. I'm thinking about just cutting straight all the way across. I'm already gonna have to cut into this frame part. I'm also going to have to cut up in here and probably get rid of most of this 
I may end up having to just go along this line right here and just cut everything underneath it out. Um, I do want to keep some sides connected to one another just for structural integrity, at least until most of this stuff gets built. So I'm going to look over all of this and figure out what we are going to be cutting first. It's hot and toasty in here. Um, I do think that the weather is going to be coming, so I'm hoping it's not going to come for a while um, just so I can go at this. kind of got some motivation this morning and wanted to get a vlog out. Um, I don't know. I'll throw it out there. I don't know if this is going to be a gat or not. Uh, and I guess we'll go over an update with Tyler's car after we are done with this. But let's get to it. Let's get some cutting and, well, get more holes going. And Florida weather is upon us. Mr. Diesel told me it was uh, about to start pouring and it did. So I'm gonna wrap this up, I guess, today. I don't have the luxury of being underneath anything and the big umbrellas and stuff were taken with my parents. I wanted to show you guys real quick a quick uh, test fit and we'll kind of go over why I'm cutting everything on this side anyways, show you what we got a clearance and whatnot. So before we wrap it up, we did get most of the driver's side cut out. As you can see, the wheel is up. Not up as high as I want it to be, but it's getting there one step at a time. And here we are. So I did start to cut this area out, but I wanted all of this out first just so I could see what was hitting. As you guys can see, it is starting to hit about right there. So I am gonna clearance basically all of this where my finger is. Keep in mind, if I did have a bigger stretch and a smaller sidewall, it would not hit as soon. Of course, it's not gonna be that much of a difference, but um, everything else for the most part is pretty clear of course lip barrel all that has to do with well fitting different size wheels but we are close so once all of this is clear once most of this is all cut out then we'll be able to get that tire a lot higher up and and we'll be able to tub and make all of the new strut tower and all of that so of course we're going to match this side to that side or vice versa that side to this side and go from there big progress made raindrops are coming down so i hope you guys did enjoy this i wanted to get both sides done well i was just going to grind it out until dark but i guess the weather is going to ruin that for us um, with that being said quick update on tyler's car if you guys have watched the last vlogs his wiring harness got ripped out of the fuse box we spent about a week and a half trying to figure out if anybody could rewire it because right now the car can't run drive start nothing uh, that's what this all blocked off is just most of the connectors that are open and uh luckily we found one on yahoo auctions i found a full fuse box with like eight inches of the wiring harness still left in it i ordered that and then the next day uh, my good buddy andrew from xat racing they do all of the turbo kits for these uh basically import a lot of crowns deal with the crowns um, as their own not a bunch of other vehicles mostly crowns he hit me up and said they're parting one out so i was going to try and rewire that new fuse box but figured i'd spend the extra money or at least tyler would spend the extra money get the entire harness and fuse box because we know it's out of a running and driving vehicle and put it in not have to worry about splicing cutting you know backtracking if something's not getting power um and basically just throw it in so i asked him if he could take some pictures taking it out just to see you know where some connections go how hard it's going to be getting underneath the dash if we have to take all of that out and whatnot but that just means ty's car should be back up and running here soon hopefully so, gallenberg maybe gallenberg if you're watching this i doubt the ls will be up there maybe if i just get a freak weekend and just decide to put 40 hours into it i'll be able to i don't know screw half of making everything look nice if i can put it together so i can drive it and maybe we'll bring it up but hopefully ty's crown in the next week or so we'll be able to tear out that harness and put in the new harness go from there and get these cars hooked up 
Diesel wants to go inside. I'm tired. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, uh, click that like button, click that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content. I hope you guys like this stuff and I'm really ready to start diving in. I know I say that every video, but it's finally time that we make big progress, just start cutting the crap out of everything and one day get this car back on the road. So I will see you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys.